Oh. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Anne, for letting me know. Um, yeah. So hi, guys. This is me. <laughs> I've been talking for like eight minutes and uh, none of you could have seen me already. So thank you for letting me know. Don't you love going live and doing all this fun stuff? Learning how to go virtual. Okay. So hope I give you, give you hope <laughs> for all you out there trying to do this fun stuff. Okay. So now you can see <laughs> the difference between this side and this side. I've already done my look on my on my left side. Um, so I was doing my brows very, very nicely and precisely so you could see it, but you really couldn't, <laughs> which is kind of funny. But anyway, so I finished my brow here and I was just saying that I did put my eye primer already on my um, lid. And then next up, what I'm going to do is actually show you guys the color I'm going to use as a base. And um, it's actually, which color? Here we go. It's called Blossom. It's this color right here. It's really pretty. Um, so what I'm going to do is just simply tap it on like this. And I'm just kind of making it just a base color. Super simple and easy. Just get that on my lid. So I'm going to do that. And um, there we go. So it's just a little bit of color to mat it out. All right. So you guys, let's make sure if you have um, any questions on the products that I shout out or um, the colors that I'm using and all that, please just let us know. Um, I can definitely post them in the comments and stuff like that too. So again, um, it'll be fun just to show you how, how quick and easy this look can be. So there you go. I've just put the blossom on and we are good with a base. I do have a little bit of mascara on this side already. Okay. So now from here, what I'm going to do is just show you the next color that I am going to use. And that is going to be this beautiful rose gold color. Okay. So this one, I'm actually going to apply pretty much all over the lid. I like it because it's got a little bit of shine to it too. And I'm going to show you one other trick as well, which sometimes I put it on top, sometimes I put it on bottom. So, um, so I'm putting the rose gold on, but now what I'm going to do actually, because I really love it, is put on this, which is our liquid eyeshadow. And it's in pink starlight and I love it because you'll see it kind of will just shimmer it up a little bit. There we go. And these are really nice because you can actually just apply them um, on their own. So they're very simple kind of thing. You can just tap it in with your fingers, but see how it kind of gives it that little bit of shine. Looks really pretty. So I just tap that in the middle there. So very similar to the rose gold color, but the liquid just gives it a little bit more pop. Okay. All right. So we got that on there. I'm gonna put just a little bit of that rose gold on top. All right. So next up, what we're going to do is we're going to go right to my favorite um, color in this look. And that is um, hazelnut. <laughs> Believe it or not, hazelnut is really pretty. Um, it's a light brown uh, color. Very much a great matte. I'm just kind of putting it in the crease like that. I'm putting a little bit of the hazelnut first. The pop color that I'm going to use, our accent color, is actually going to be Merlot, which is super pretty. So this is very much more of a dramatic type of look um, that I'm doing for tonight because we're all planning on having some fun this weekend, hopefully, somehow, right? If you've got plans, let me know what they are because I'm super excited of the possibility of going out, but I don't know if that's actually going to happen. Probably another stay in holiday fun. Okay. So isn't that pretty? Just that alone, the hazelnut, you could just stop right there. I think it's really pretty. Um, for some women that would be, I'm just like wanting to do a little bit more pop because it's kind of Valentine glam theme. So that's why I'm going to use something called Merlot and it's super, super pretty. I'm going to use this. Um, I have a, a second, uh, crease brush and then, uh, Merlot is this beautiful, deep, rich color right there. Super pretty. Um, fabulous for an accent color and also a little bit of a liner as you're going to see I'm going to do. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and just kind of 
tap it in. So it's going to look like it's a ton of color to start, but then we're going to blend it out. So don't you worry. Don't go crazy. There we go. All righty. And then we're going to blend it, blend it, blend it. That is the key for sure. So I'm using a little all over shadow brush to kind of just blend it out. Now, the challenge is, right, to always get our, our eyes to kind of match, but I had a makeup artist in Mary Kay, who I love, share with me that same thing with our brows. They should be sisters, not twins. So your eyes don't have to like look perfectly the same, you know, but um, just see how that softens it so much when you just use that little bit of blending in there. And so you can always intensify and glamify the look by just adding a little bit more, you know, of that um, Merlot if you wanted to, or whatever accent color you choose. But there you go, pretty simple and easy. All right, try to match it up. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Now we're looking more alive, right? More the same. Okay, so then what I'm gonna show you here is with the Merlot, what I'm gonna do is take a tiny bit of my smudger brush and I'm gonna go just along the lash line with the smudger brush. And hopefully you could see before, it makes such a difference to have a little bit of a line of color just underneath your eyes. Now I'm a big fan of purples and plums because I have green eyes. So that kind of makes you, makes it look like your eye color pops. And what's great about having a Mary Kay consultant is that she has color cards that are already designed um, with your eye color in mind and it gives you suggestions on what colors to use. And if you use that Mirror Me app, um, <laughs> go ahead and give it a try. Make sure to download it and then, um, you know, comment with a, a post of your favorite picture that you took of yourself. It's super fun. Um, but anyway, you can definitely do that and try things on virtually. And there is also now a new way to do it as well. If you just wanna go onto your laptop and do it, um, you can actually go onto your consultant's website and um, click on Mirror Me Web, and you can actually go through the transformation and try different colors on just simply on your laptop. So it doesn't even have to be on your phone. Isn't that technology amazing? Thank you, Mary Kay. But if you would like a little glamour package with um, some fun colors and samples and fun things like that, that is something that we do as kind of a complimentary service. So you can reach out to your consultant or just type in the comments, you know, glam pack uh, or a beauty pack would be fabulous. And um, you can definitely grab one of those fun things um, at, uh, delivered to your door, in other words. So it'd be pretty fun. And you can try those new colors and stuff like that. Okay, so here you go. So that's my eye color. Pretty simple and easy, right? So the next thing I'm gonna do, just a couple more things here, is I am going to use this waterproof um, liquid eyeliner pen. Okay, love this. So if you ever thought that, um, you know, doing liquid liner was a challenge. <laughs> I thought the same thing too, but this pen will change that. And you literally, I wonder which way I should do this here. It's hard to do it looking in the computer. I literally, like you just see how it's a felt tip. So you literally just kind of lay it on there and then you just do short little strokes over to the center. Like it's, it's amazing. I go, right to left and then left to right. You just kind of see how I'm just doing like little strokes. You never want to do like one swoop because <laughs> then it definitely will probably go awry. But getting these to match again, a bit of a challenge, but I usually get it to at least look, like I said, like sisters. Now I don't always use liquid liner and do that little flare up there. This is more of a glam look, right? For a date night or something. So. You just kind of put that little extra bit in there and uh, just makes it a little bit more glamorous, right? Okay, so um, liquid waterproof uh, eyeliner pen. This is amazing. So absolutely love that. Um, so next up, let's see here what I'm going to do. Oh, I know what I'm going to do next. So with liner. So I did the liquid um, eyeliner pen there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my deep brown 
eyeliner, okay? Little tip um, is to kind of just draw on the back of your hand to kind of warm up the pencil first. And then what I'm gonna do is kind of just right along the lash line, I'm giving myself a little bit more color. So it's very, very soft. And again, I'm just using like short little strokes to apply it like that. It just gives it a little bit more definition is all. And then you can go over it with your um, smudger brush. This is like key with all makeup looks is a smudger brush like that. So then it just kind of makes it pop. Now I see a little, need a little bit more on that side. Okay. All right. So that was the deep eyeliner um, pen. These are great, you guys, because they're super soft and they are water resistant. So um, they stay on nicely all throughout the day. And of course now, because really it's just our, our eyes that most of us are seeing, um, we need to embellish them a little bit more. So a uh, deep brown eyeliner underneath there, just little strokes. And then what I'm gonna do is take this mascara. This is my going out glam night mascara. And um, this is our lash intensity. And so I love this one because it gives you the glam lashes. If you can see this, the, um, the lash um, wand, is very different than most mascaras in that very different from the mascaras in our line. This one has um, a well kind of, if you can see like that, there's kind of like a dip in there. That's what you use to apply the color, the mascara. And then you just turn it, hello. And then it kind of just pulls the color through the lashes. Now I did, hello, <laughs> I did already have some mascara on, so I'm just kind of doing another coat but it just gives you that wow factor. There you go. And just a tiny bit underneath like that just to do it. Okay, so lash intensity, definitely. I think every woman needs to have like three or four different mascaras. Um, you need a waterproof, you need just kind of an everyday one. Um, you need one that's just like um, uh, ultimate wow lashes. You need lash intensity. You just need more than one mascara, right? we want different looks okay all right so now i think my eyes pretty much done does it look like i've matched oh i know one last thing this is like my secret my secret my secret oh i have to show you this now before i forget um this is our new oh my goodness i'm in love uh our new glam bag that we have is this not the most cutest thing ever so when you open it up, there's tons of room in here, you guys, tons of room. I have, this is like my legit, my personal stash, <laughs> you guys can see. I have everything that I would possibly be able to use or need to use. I've got my brush set, got all that in there. And I even have my own um, palette as well. This is my own working palette. Don't look at it, Mr. Don't judge. Okay, <laughs> I gotta clean it. Sorry, mom. <laughs> All right, but look, it like keeps everything all like cute and perfect and everything in there too. It's so fun. So with that being said, I went to go grab my Moonstone. You guys, Moonstone is this beautiful color that just makes your eyes pop right in there. That's like my biggest secret with my eye looks. It just gives you a little pop of color right there. Just kind of opens them up, opens your eyes up. Okay, so that's the eyes. The last two things I'm going to do, just the cheeks and lips to finish it up. And I wanted to show this to you guys. This is something I don't often talk about, but um, I started using it. If you can kind of see the difference between one side and the other, I know it's a little subtle. Actually, I don't know that I did this side. I'm going to do this like crazy thing over here where you're going to be like, whoa, Margaret, what the heck are you doing? So I'm just going to show you. This is the easiest way you can do um, contouring like ever it's with this stick. Okay. Very, very cool. And what you do, obviously I'm trying to make my cheeks look a little bit thinner. Right. And so you do just align with the pen. You can even do a little bit like up in the, um, areas where you want to recess are going to be where you do a contouring, um, anywhere that you want to like have it pop, then that's going to be more of a, um, highlighter, but literally I take my blending sponge and I just kind of dab it, like literally sort of smudge it into the line of my cheek, trying to create that sense of it coming in. There we go. And the other side, I'm literally just kind of dabbing it. Very simple. 
I'm simple, simple and quick. I didn't mention the foundations that I'm using, but lately I have been mixing my matte wear and my luminous wear, which I kind of like. It gives you a little semi-matte. Not too shiny, but not too matte either. So there you go. Just that little bit. Can you see how it narrows down the cheeks? It's crazy. It's pretty fabulous. Okay, but I am going to put a little bit of cheek color on, and I need my cheek brush. So hold on one sec while I grab it here. Okay, so cheek brush. I'm going to use a darling pink and I just kind of smile a little bit. Put it right on my cheekbone. You never want to go too high close to your eyes or too low because then it kind of draws the eye line down a little too far. Just a little bit of glow. I know it's kind of hard with this lighting, but hopefully you guys kind of get the idea. I feel like you should do makeup during the daytime, right? With good natural lighting. Um, okay. So there's our cheeks, and then we're just going to finish with our lips. So I love my lip primer. This is our age fighting lip primer. It actually helps um, to not only prime the lips before you put lipstick on, but um, this actually has anti-aging properties to it. So it will literally help with the fine lines around your eye, around your eyes, <laughs> around your lips. Okay. Definitely. Tonight, talked talked a lot about Glam. However, um, on Saturday, we're going to be doing a retinol ready skincare sesh. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys all about the new clinical solutions, which is just like off the charts. And this is light nude that I'm using as a lip color. Now what's nice about our lip liners too, you guys, is that some of them, see how it just kind of gives you that nude look? You could literally just put a tiny bit of gloss on top of that and you could be like, I love my lips, just like that, totally fine. They're very soft and, and just amazing. So light nude, beautiful color, you gotta have it. Okay, then what I'm gonna do is I chose Love Me Pink as my lip color. I'm actually gonna put that on top and just wait till you see which lip gloss I decided to put on top of this. It's glam, right? We're going glam. So eyes are a little bit more defined, right? So I did a little bit lighter lip, but let's do a little bit of this berry. This is called evening berry. <laughs> evening berry going out but watch how it changes color. Super pretty. Mm. All right, I just love this color. You can put this on top of so many different colors and it just all looks amazing, just like that. So there you go. Pretty quick and easy, ultimately. <laughs> I only did have my face, right? Um, but this is the Valentine's Day look that I chose for, for today, for tonight. So make sure if you want to have one of these glam packages, um, a little beauty pack sent to you, you can comment um, down below and just say, mail me a beauty pack. I'd love to have one. It's totally complimentary, no strings attached or anything. Um, you can just enjoy um, the colors and trying our Chroma Fusion shadows and cheek colors. Absolutely amazing. They are life proof. They stay on. They don't budge. Um, absolutely love all the different arrays of colors, which you can see we've got many, many colors to choose from. And your consultant can help pick out some for you as well. So um, make sure that you comment um, below with uh, hashtag replay if you're watching this for the second time, because I'd love to give away uh, gifts for just simply watching live and then also for the replay. So I'll do that in the next 24 hours. And just remember, for those of you who have not seen this yet, the reason you haven't is because it literally actually has not actually gone live yet. Um, these will be on your consultant's website actually starting on February 16th. Uh, but I bet if you hit her up, she will um, be able to hook you up with that a little bit sooner. You could be one of the first to get your hands on it. So anyway, um, thank you so much for joining tonight. Just wanted to keep it short and sweet. And um, I appreciate you coming in and checking out the look. So let, please let me know if you like the Valentine's look that I picked. I hope you do, and I hope you all have a wonderful Valentine's. And remember, you can catch us on the um, Retinol Ready Saturday morning. I'll be streaming live in here as well. Um, so you can learn more about our new clinical solutions. 
sorry, this is what it looks like. This is our newest baby, this set right here. So definitely tune into that if you can. And we are going to have some other killer actual specials for, um, for that as well. So anyway, check in with us. I hope you have a wonderful Valentine's and I will catch you later. Bye.